Now, sometimes when you're trying to draw clip art or design clip art in Microsoft Word, uh, you're limited uh, by the kind of shapes that you have available, and your your imagination will only take you so far. Um, sometimes it's best to trace something that's existing because in order to fill something in this program, you, you need to join the two ends together to complete the shape. Um, so I'm going to give an example here uh, of clip art uh, that uh, you know you can replicate using uh, a tool that will allow you to trace objects. Now, I strongly recommend that when you're tracing an object, the smaller it is, the more you should zoom in. So, I, I'm going to give an example here of how you have to complete the points, first of all, before you can fill them, and how zooming in will allow you to create a better shape uh, that, that is closer to what it's supposed to really truly look like and how you can then put the whole thing together and make it look like real clip art. So I'm going to start by uh, I'm going to start by zooming in to an object and then try to build part of that object up. So I'm going to zoom in here much much closer so that I can see better right here. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to just build this part of his eye. Now, there's no shape that'll do that for me exactly. So I'm going to use from insert and shapes, I'm going to use this freeform tool. Now, I'm going to turn it on and it works by simply clicking and then clicking again when you're ready to change direction ever so slightly. And if I'm not zoomed in right now, I'm not doing this good of a job, not even close. And that's why I'm zoomed in to 452%. So I'm clicking every time my direction changes ever so subtly. Now the more detail in your object, the bigger of a job this becomes. And now when you're done, at the very end here to join them, you double click. And that ends it. So now this is filled with white. Now if I want to make this the same color as the skin, what I would probably do is click on the skin. Now you may not see that I've clicked on the skin because I'm zoomed in so much. So I can zoom out a little just to show that I am I did just click on the skin. <clears throat> and from my home tab, I've got remember the format painter? So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on my lid here. And it didn't work at all because I must have selected something yellow instead. So let's see if I can zoom out some more. And what I want to do is I want to take a paint sample of of the skin or I can simply go to my paint bucket I guess and find the color that I used for the lid that I would want for the lid. And it would probably be somewhere along. Oh, I see. Something like that would probably come really close. Now, what I've done before I started taping this is I took Stewie's regular image off the internet and I copied and pasted it into here. And what I've been doing, what you don't know, is that I've drawn in all of the elements individually. So now I'm able to start. filling these things in. So I'm going to take a paint sample, I'm going to go to the paint store and I'm going to paint certain objects here. Now in order for that to work I have to select that object perfectly. There we go. And I didn't want his arm. So I may be better off using the paint bucket for this. I'll try this one more time. And here I want his head there we go. Now his eyes here are going to be white, of course. And I'm going to use F4 for that, so that comes up again. His mouth, I wouldn't want it to be black. Now I'm going to select all parts of his shirt at the same time and I found the yellow that I liked uh, I 
guess I can do that. So now I'm just filling in various parts of him now that they've been drawn. And because they're complete shapes, it's allowing me to do that. So there's my hand-drawn Stewie. I didn't take a lot of time to do this, but I did use zoom in, zoom out, etc. And I just traced individual elements. So that's one element. The hand was one thing. And then I did each line afterwards. The other hand was one thing. So you see these are all objects that were started and ended and then filled. And then, of course, you would group this. And um, he, he may not be that good from from close, but as you zoom out, uh, the resemblance is much, much better. So that was, the, this entire shape, this entire figure was, was reproduced using this free form, which you can use to trace pretty much anything out there, as long as you've got the time, the patience, and the ability to zoom in and zoom out.